We started off, and it was, and we had heard that there were some challenges associated with, um, with the, with the interface, with the technology, and we thought, oh, okay, you know, we're we're adults, and we're experienced with technology, and we, well, you know, we'll be able to navigate it. And um, pretty immediately, we started encountering problems. And at first, it was like, oh, ha ha ha, this is, you know, we'll we'll get through this. And then, as the training went on, it was about an hour long. It, the, pro, the, the technological issues just kept piling on and piling on, and after 20 minutes or so, we were all just sort of looking at each other going, this is nuts. This is just, we can't ask kids to do this um, because this is a really challenging test and the, the technology doesn't work. So it's just not, it's not right for kids, and um, so we're hoping, we're hoping that the school department is able to sort that out. So this is the first item that we saw yesterday when we did our training. Um, so the first thing that most of us noticed was that the math was pretty rigorous. You know, we're a bunch of eighth, not necessarily math teachers, English teachers, social studies teachers. We're mm -hmm. going, oh, geez, I have to stop and think about this. Right. You know, so we noticed that when you drag a fraction, first of all, it's a little difficult to get it to respond. Okay, there we go. So even to activate the, so, oh, and you're supposed to drag it, but there we go, oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't want to, there we, this, I mean, immediately you start seeing the sorts of issues that we were encountering. So it sort of began here, it's like every time you go to a new thing, it's like, so you're supposed to, you're supposed to, oh my gosh, I can't even, Release the mouse button to place the object where you want it. Okay. Well, we don't, well, that's the other thing. We don't have a mouse. This was designed for a PC with, you know, the dual, the right mm -hmm. click, the right click, left click. The students in our school have, have iPad technology. So we've been told that they're going to have access to keyboards. So they're not going to use the on screen keyboard, but they don't have mouse or um, you know, they have the touch screen. So uh, right now I'm having some difficulty even getting this to respond at all to my click. Um, so let's try a different one. There we go. Okay, I'm getting it to move now. Um, so two fifths, uh, it should go like over here. So I got it to move, I got it to move once. Um, so, the, so the real concern that I think a lot of teachers have is that we're presenting the students with a test that's yeah, I mean, really you're seeing the, the sorts of things more that seem difficult than tests that they've been exposed to in the past. And then layering on top of that is a technological interface which doesn't work very well, is, is, um, is just really challenging to navigate the technology. So on this particular one, I think if I touch here, we were having some issues with the keyboard. Yeah, so what happens is the keyboard keeps popping up and down. So um, this is a, a particular problem that might be alleviated by the use of an external keyboard. But for the practice that we were doing, you're trying to enter some numbers or an equation and this keyboard every time is popping up and down and up and down and it just makes it sort of a frustrating experience to navigate so um, I'm just gonna get through get through that particular um, question um, this is one it's just a multiple choice so it should be fairly easy to select an answer I'm not even reading the question I'm um, just moving on so this was one okay this is one that we really experienced some difficulty with um, it's question number five. It's a it's a graphing, um, it's a graphing problem, and so the students are expected to graph some points and lines. So um, you can add a point, and we were able to do this pretty easily. So I'll just add one. Actually, that was interesting. I don't know if you know how notice that it moved. So um, so I'm just sort of adding these haphazardly. Um, now, the real we re ran into some real trouble when we tried to remove a point. So, say I had mistakenly clicked, you know, one coordinate over from the the coordinate that I was intending to click. You can remove that, but what we were finding yesterday is that we couldn't remove it. 
So right now I'm, I'm, I've got delete selected. I'm trying to remove a point, but I'm not having any success removing, removing anything. And this is exactly what I experienced yesterday, that I couldn't, let's try to add a line. So there we go, I was able to do that. Um, let's try to, let's try to delete that line. Uh, I've got delete selected. And it's not letting me do anything. Um, so this is, this is exactly the sort of stuff that we ran into yesterday. And again, um, you know, it's a challenging test and then you sort of just layer on this sort of technological challenge. And I think, um, the concern is that the frustration threshold of these eighth graders is just such that they're going to have great difficulty here. Um, it's a high stakes test. There are, um, you know, potential consequences for our school district, our state. Um, teachers are being looked at. Schools are being graded. All of these sorts of things. And um, again, we've got a very challenging test, and we've got an interface that doesn't work very well. So, hopefully, we're um, going to be able to um, opt out of the digital version of the test for this year and opt into a paper version of the test, which would obviously just completely mitigate any technological issues.